Hey Bible lovers, I'm Tim Nichols and I'm here to bring your Nichols Worth and today from Thomas Nelson we have the text Bible in the NET. Now this thing has a nine point font in the comfort print. This is set up to kind of be a play off of a text message you get on a phone and you're going to kind of see that theme all throughout the scripture. But text is actually an acronym as well and it means T, talk to God. So whenever we read the word we need to read it conversationally. Have a conversation with God saying hey how can I apply this to my life? Lord, how can I use this to better myself? Lord, how can I use this to better understand you? And then the E is for encounter God in humanity. And that means to let God not only define himself, but let him define man and his relationship with man. The X is to examine your heart. Lord, is my heart right? Am I understanding your word in the purest possible way? And then the last T stands for talk to others because the Bible is not just meant to be read in a vacuum. It's meant to be read and discussed in community. So this is a really cool idea. So now let's check out the Bible itself because I think it's also pretty outstanding. It comes in this nice little slip case. This is the gray leather soft, nice stitching. I love this black deeply embossed, the text in there. There is no rubbing that off. I also love they did the same thing on the spine two really nice ribbons beautifully cut nice and clean and then it has a paper liner with the presentation page on the liner which I actually love but I also do wish they would use synthetic liners in this now let's check out the layout itself first of all it's got a table of contents a note from the authors to tell you how to use this edition and then of course it has your note to the readers about the translation it also gives you the explanatory notes and then it gives you somewhat of a introduction to the book of Genesis. It gives you the author, it gives you the key verse, it gives you the approximate dates, and then it gives you the purpose. After that, it gives you the encounter in Christ in Genesis and gives you a layout of how to do just that. And then it gives you threads in Genesis, the relationship with God to man, the restoration of man to God, man's obedience to God, and the patriarch. So it kind of gives you the foreground on how to understand what's to come. Then it has these sidebars, getting to know the text. Who wrote the Bible? Text the text, which is just kind of a way to help you understand the text. Get to know the text, the days of creation. Get to know the text again, the anatomy of the text. Now what I really like about this is it tells you how many books are in the Bible, how was the Bible put together, who were the authors, and just different things more anatomically about the text, not just spiritual material. Then it has about a hundred of these Who is God articles, and it explains God as creator. So it'll answer different questions about who is God, and then it reminds you about the text acronym and kind of gives you a fuller explanation to kind of keep you on task. Then it has some questions that it answers on the sidebars. This is a blue text in a nine point font. It is a single column, beautifully laid out in the NET comfort print. And then some other features as you go is it has some terms and these are key terms that you need to understand in order to be able to kind of understand what the text is talking about covenant and sin of course we have text to text getting to know the text all sorts of neat little features and as we go back to this I want to show you the follow the thread so whenever they're answering a question they will give you where this topic the law is addressed elsewhere in the scripture now this isn't exhaustive it's just a couple of good examples so let's move on to the New Testament and take a look at this because there's something I want you to see. Now, whenever there is no sidebars, you have this wide space that has dot matrix. And what's really nice about this is it frees you up to be able to either keep in line with your writing or to draw or to journal or to do whatever. Really, the sky is the limit on what you can do. But in the New Testament, this is not a red letter text, which would be kind of weird because this is a blue this is like a dark blue text it's not black one thing I really like about this is they didn't try to get cute they didn't try to get too fancy what they did is everything is in blue your chapters and page numbers are in blue and I like that they put them on the side like this so it's not in the way of your margin the text is in blue the accents are in blue the the verses are in blue the subheadings are in blue everything's in blue so now the real key feature in this Bible that I want you to see is at the end, they have prophecies fulfilled at the cross, the glory of the new covenant, spiritual gifts based out of Romans chapter 12, two types of wisdom, spiritual wisdom and worldly wisdom, praying the text, which is something I want you to check out. Let me go back to that. 
One thing about the Bible is one of the best ways to pray is to pray the actual text. So they give you examples on how to do this all throughout the text. And then if you want to find them easily, they have an index that shows you where they all are. That's really cool. And then I thought this was a neat feature. This is called hashtags to kind of keep into the theme of texting and technology. And these hashtags are different topics that you can go back and look up using these verses in order to kind of study and look through those topics. I thought that was a really cool feature. And then lastly, it has some reading plans, 30 Days with Jesus, where Jesus is the focal point, 90 Day Overview, where you're not really reading every verse, you're just kind of getting a quick overview of the scripture, and then a reading plan for the whole Bible. Lastly, we have the concordance and the maps. But one more thing I want to show you real quickly is this new series in the NET called Eternity Now. I love that Thomas Nelson is really going for it on the NET. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at this. I did a written review on this, but I wanted to show you real quickly. This is five volumes. It's got Matthew, Hebrews, James, and Jude. So this is the legacy more focusing on the Hebrew. This is Peter and Mark focusing on the writings of Peter, which Mark was believed to be a scribe. This is Luke, which has the book of Acts in it as well. This is all of the Johns to include Revelation. And then this is the letter of Paul. And the really cool feature about this is it's set up just like a book. So it doesn't seem as intimidating. It doesn't seem as overwhelming. You can read it in smaller chunks. It has just a little short introduction and a pretty good size font. I believe that is a 12 point font. After you get done with the to the readers, the notes to the readers, then you just have straight up scripture, no verses, single column, large print, thick book paper. It does have a little bit of subheadings. It does let you know the chapter numbers. So you kind of have an idea of where you're at. And that's pretty much the size of it. So this is really an excellent set. I highly recommend both of these. They would make excellent gifts for a friend. God bless you. Keep calm. Jesus on. This is your Nicholas Worth.